This video explains how to create a block domains rule through hosting controller. Exchange mail flow rules, also known as transport rules, allow you to block emails from unwanted senders or certain email addresses. To block emails from unwanted sender domains, you can create a new rule and specify the domains to be blocked. Taking advantage of this feature, Hosting Controller allows you to block unwanted emails through its block domains rule. To create a block domains rule, log in into the control panel as the tenant admin also known as the customer. You will land on the dashboard. Navigate to the left menu. Click the provisioning dropdown and hit the exchange menu. From the list of organizations, select the organization under which the block domains rule is to be created. Hosting controller allows only one rule per organization. Hit the drop down and click block domains rule. To create a new block domains rule, click the create block domains rule button. Select the location of the recipient. The recipient can be a mailbox, mail user, group, or mail-enabled public folder that exists in the organization's active directory. The recipient can reside in the organization or outside of it. The recipient can also be in an external partner organization or in an external non-partner organization. Specify the domains to be blocked. In case of more than one domain, type comma separated names. Messages where the sender's email address contains text patterns that match the domain names, will be blocked. Give the explanation that will appear when the messages are rejected. Then hit the Create Block Domains Rule button. A new rule will be created. Once the rule is created, it will be visible under the Block Domains Rules section in the panel and can be edited, disabled or deleted. Disabling a rule through hosting controller, will disable the rule under the mail flow rules section in the exchange control panel while deleting it will remove it completely from the exchange control panel. Hosting controller, also allows you to track down various operations, and record events through its audit logging facility. Audit logs are only available to the global admin. To view the event log for the block domains rule, log out to the admin user. Click the Configurations cog on the top and hit the Audit Logs menu under System. Select the tenant who created the rule and hit the Audit Logs button under the Actions column. You will find a complete log of the rule with the kind of operation performed, the timestamp, the IP log, and the action type of the CRUD operation. You may also view the full details of the log. Hosting Controller provides APIs for all its operations. It also provides APIs for Exchange Block Domains Rule. These APIs can be used by DevOps to automate their workflows. They can use any scripting language capable of calling REST APIs. Hosting Controller offers the following API methods for Exchange Block Domains Rule. To view Hosting Controller APIs follow the link below. Block emails from unwanted senders anytime through Exchange Mailflow rules and include an explanation for the rejection. Try Hosting Controller today.